Uh, Stephen, tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, just in terms of the accident that you went through and what you suffered and what you had to go, go through until uh, you met us. Okay, yeah. Um, hello? Let that bus go by. Let so the bus go by because of the audio. You know, it's, it's very raw here. So it's, yeah. There's nothing here that's pre-scripted or anything that's, you know, if, if there's any noise or anything like that, we'll, we'll pause for there. Okay. But Hi, hello, I'm, I'm Stephen Huntsman, and I was apparently involved in a, uh, a tragic uh, car accident in 1982. Not apparently, I, it's, it uh, was yeah, very definite. Yeah. It the, hurt the reason, bad, the, it was big yeah, time. Yeah, <laughs> the, re the, reason I, the reason I say apparent car wreck is because that... Um, I don't remember any of the accident at all, none of the specifics of the accident at all, and was basically, uh, um, I, f uh, I was in a coma, and dead as far as I'm concerned. When you're in a coma, you're dead. Mm -hmm. And um, and I slowly remember coming in and out of, uh, of this shocked coma state um, to, to slowly figure out through dialogue and through the tremendous medication that I was uh, on um, due to a spinal cord injury. I was paralyzed from the waist down when I started coming to and I couldn't go to the bathroom on my own. I had a cath, a cath in me and they would use enemas. I didn't feel anything and was basically just completely out of it. Um, they had informed me that um, T12 in my back was crushed to dust. I can show you the scar. And T11. We're going to see the scars. Go ahead and stand up. So they took bone out of my hip and rebuilt my spine. And they put two steel Har Harrington rods in my back to keep, to, to, while my back was healed. So, can you see the scar? Okay, and we're looking at it now. You may not be able to see the scar, but I will take a picture of it with the, my digital camera. Okay. There's another so. scar here where they took bone out of my hip and rebuilt my spine. Anyway, they put two okay. steel rods in my back and took bone out of my hip and, re, and rebuilt my back. So I was paralyzed from the waist down and this is this was the summer going into my senior year at a military academy where I was very much into sports and, um, and into, a, into, mil, in, into the military. Um, that um, career in the military or in sports was over in a second, and um, since then, I um, I uh, had uh, slowly come out of that um, uh, by going to a different uh, rehabilitation centers and working with different uh, sports treatment rehabil rehabilitators from all over the place. I came from a very athletic family. My father was a, an Olympic coach for track and field and a, and a collegiate uh, coach, so I was around some of the best trainers and, and um, you know, around, and the best help that I could possibly get medically. Um, through the years, it's now 2010, and this was in 1982, I have just been continually looking for remedy to, to get the movement back I, I, in my leg. Everything pretty much came back. Um, except for my left leg. My left leg, um, uh, from my kneecap to my hip, um, is, is numb. And there's no, actually, you can actually see the difference in them as well. Um, it, my left leg is about half the size of my right leg, and it feels like I have a rubber suit on um, on my left leg. Oh yeah, they took the rods out in my back after nine and a half months. I can't remember if I said that or not. And I had to wear a back brace for nine and a half months during that time. So, um, I have tried everything um, to get this back. Like I said, I came from a very athletic family and love sports and rollerblading and snow skiing and have, have always led a very active life, world traveler. And, uh, and uh, yeah, I, I, I love the great outdoors. So anyway, um, what happened? Just through my travels and finding and talking to people and always inquiring, always asking around if people have been know anything about you know healing nerves or working on nerve damage. Um, I was fortunate enough to uh, do some friends of mine with uh, Sifu Master Richard Hatta and cameraman extraordinaire, multi-talented uh, genius. Um, he, Richard, 
we'd met, and um, I, I told him what was going on with me. He had me get on my stomach, and I don't know exactly what he did, what he was doing at that particular point, but he, what, what it felt like to me within, I'd say, 7 to 10 or 15 seconds or so, in a very, very brief amount of, of seconds, I instantly felt like electrical charge was going through my whole body, like um, like uh, battery chargers were hooked onto my leg and my body, and like I was vibrating, and uh, it was it was unbelievable. I was having feelings in my leg and also in my, my my psyche really that I that I I that I hadn't really had in since I was 17. Um, when I say psyche, I mean um, there had been once I got out of a wheelchair and rehab rehabilitation for my spinal cord injury. I said, "Okay, this is what the universe has dealt me. No left leg. I, you know, there's a cap on what I can learn, or on what I well, what's going to not learn, but what my, how much my leg can learn and come back." And then I started feeling all these emotions, like, "Wow, I'm getting this feeling back, like I was, you know, 17." and uh, just feeling really young, I started bouncing around and I was just so excited, I just actually had to say, I gotta get out of here and I, I left and it was a couple of people and it was a, it, later in the evening but I just went out and went rollerblading and, and went down to the beach. And since then, I've seen uh, Sifu Richard Hata multiple times and every time it just gets better and better. I've been training with him as much as I can and to, to learn these different energies and uh, to just harness this energy um, which exists and um, he has since been using needles as well and we've been putting the needles into my leg or he has and then sending energy in there this strange energy and it has been bending the needles and um, just really firing up my leg like it's never been fired up before like I said I've tried everything you name it I've tried it and uh, I, I, I it's something that really must be experienced to, to, to believe because it's just sending you're sending strange energy into into a, a nerve damaged leg that's been nerve damaged for decades um, and then getting feeling back is, um, is is hard to believe but I can I can tell you that it's it, it, that it's working and something is going on here and um, and I love it I love it I feel uh, I feel fantastic and uh, like a new like uh, like a vigor a youth coming about me where I'm getting this energy so um we're gonna just, we're gonna carry this on into part two because uh, we, we know that we can only go 10 minutes on this so this is at eight minutes but because Stephen Huntsman's um, instant is so I'd say so different than anyone else and the trauma that he had experienced his leg through this auto accident so severe that we do want to carry it into part part two and we'll be able to complete this and Stephen will also be going into some of the other treatments that he had before and what are the difference of the treatments before and the treatments after. And